Welcome to WrestlingTruth.com. They're your source for an online interactive wrestling community, providing the truth behind the dirt sheets and rumors. It's WrestlingTruth.com, revealing the truth behind the headlines. Worldwide leader in entertainment. This is the VOC Nation Radio Network. Warning, the following show contains harsh language and topics that some viewers may find offensive. Listener discretion is advised. Hello wrestling fans, we are hours away from the road to Wrestlemania beginning, the Royal Rumble. I am Andy Guam, and with me as always is Liam Dunn. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Why? Because, okay, basically, I live with some very strange people. Let's just let's just put it that way, I live with some very strange people, and they showed me this video. I get the feeling. They showed, me, Continue. they showed me this i can't even joke right like i'm not even in a joking mood like i watched this video and it has ruined yeah. everything that i can i'm sorry I, i'm sorry if i sound so down but How it bad? was this was it 10 men one cup no it was worse it was so worse oh and there's Keelan. yes yeah, hello it was this there was this girl and it was a tampon, and oh my god, just I can't. Oh, did she eat the tampon? Oh god, don't tell me, <laughs> don't tell you me talking? you've seen it as well. I've not seen it. I've heard of it through the the uh, grapevine. Oh my, it's talking? the most disgusting, disgusting thing ever. I can't believe. Right, basically, there's this girl, she's like fucking 15, and for some fucked up fucking reason, I don't know, maybe she what, was what, fucking what, what, raped what, what, by is, her is uncle. Is this legal? Yeah, I'm thinking this. What, what are you honestly, it's on fucking this? YouTube, I'm glad right? I've not seen it. It's on YouTube, it's not, like, sexual or anything, but she pulls a fucking tampon out, it's covered in blood, and for fun, I don't even know why she did it, but for some fucked up fucking reason, she, like, sucks on the tampon. She's probably just working You see what Twilight has done to our society? Ooh, Girls are sucking on their own down. tampon now. Oh. It's jam. I don't give a shit. She had to put it up there. I watched the damn video. She had to put it fucking somewhere. Either way, that's just wrong. You don't even... Why? Even a tampon in general. Like, even if it was jam or tomato sauce or cherry fucking smoothie. Why the fuck would you put it on a tampon and suck it? By the way, even though that's like me putting the teller on a fucking <laughs> no, that is like me putting the teller on a bloody tissue paper and then wiping it. Why would you do it in the first place? Why is the honest? I mean, the, the world's fucked. To be honest, that still sounds better than John Cena winning the Royal Rumble. I wish the world ended last year now, because I wouldn't yeah, have to put I up with this shit. I do. There's, there's moments where I wish the world would just randomly, one day, spontaneously combust. I wish that the 2012 end of the world thing actually fucking happened now. Because if if people like her have managed to survive this survival of the fittest theory, then for fuck's sake, Darwin's theory is flawed because they're letting fucking idiots through. What the shit? Why would you suck on a tampon? Why in why? Just why? Why? I can't even joke about the winning 2012 co-host of the year award or anything, because just why? If you don't know what a tampon is, don't listen to our show anymore, please leave. <laughs> don't tell me there's Who people. Who doesn't know? Unless there's Somebody tampon. says they don't know what a tampon is. Chat, wow! I don't know what a tampon is. I don't know what a tampon is. Is this a strange American... English thing that I they don't, don't know. have. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it is. I'm praying to Jesus it is. I can't believe there's uh, someone who doesn't know what a like tampon is. Like a fanny is. pack bum bag thing. Basically, what you do, mate, is you. What you do. This is what you do. You get some cherry, uh, cherry juice, and you put it on the tampon, and then you suck on it. And that what that's what a tampon is. It's a juice extractor for your cherry juice, and it you, it can survive for an entire day. There you go. That is what a tampon is. <laughs> suck on it. I guarantee you'll pull a lot of girls with it. P just suck on a tampon okay. in front of them. Especially one that's red and bloody. They'll fucking love that. Okay, enough! So what wrestling fans are going to tune in hoping for the Royal Rumble discussion? We've been talking about this for like five minutes! <laughs> 
minutes. Shut up. <laughs> right. The Royal Rumble is tonight. As of this recording. So we should talk about it probably. And in the YouTube pre-show for the WWE United States <laughs> title, it will be The Miz versus Antonio Cesaro. I hope The Miz gets dropped on his head. Is The Miz a face? Because I honestly can't tell still. No, he's a face. He's... They're trying to portray it as, oh, he was a bad guy, he was a good guy. Now he's just The Miz. Like that. Way, why isn't this on like the main card? Because, because they want to try and John get some Cena people. has to last 60 minutes in a Royal Rumble and... Oh, no, 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 no! Anyway, so... Um... Hang on, I think I think we're missing the big thing. You guys are going over the card. I, I, let's be perfectly honest. There's only two matches that people here really care about. The Rock and Punk. Well, and that's punk. one match. <laughs> and then the Rumble itself. But the one thing that I want to know is... What's actually going to main event this, this, this show? It's going to be Rock and Punk. I know it is. Because yeah, I think this, that's what the whole show has been based around is is rock and punk. It's a it's a travesty that the rumble isn't going last. Because what you could do at the end is have like a stare down between the two. Hey, who would have fucking thought? But um, I just I I think that rock and punk will will be the final one. What did they do last year? Was it? It was who was on last? It was the rumble last year because I remember being pissed and Sheamus won it. And apparently I got so angry that I started shouting at the big screen at this bar, and then I, and then I left. Um, so yeah, that happened. I shouldn't have said that. Oh well. Well, this is what I mean because people in the chat, for those who aren't who haven't had the privilege to join us or are listening on demand on YouTube or iTunes or however, um, people in the chat they're also debating whether it's the Rumble or Rock and Cena. Now, my first instinct would be the Rumble because that's the main thing. That's what everyone's there for. But, when you've got somebody like The Rock, you yeah. can't just sort of like, I'm pretty Some sure The Rock wouldn't there. allow himself to go on before the end of the of the night. He's usually the main event guy. If it was anybody else, if anybody else was in that position against Punk, then yeah, I would say it's The Rumble. But it's the fact that it's The Rock, I think, it, I think that one's going to be, cause, especially because, let's be honest, this has actually had more of a build than The Rumble match itself. You know, this has been yeah, building since the, since summer 2012. Mm. You know, you know what I like about this feud between the Rock and Punk is that Punk is not like a generic heel anymore. He's like, I fucking hate the Rock. The Rock is like, I don't particularly like you very much. Wow, those were the days when you had two people who didn't really like each other, had different reasons, and it wasn't generic as fuck, and They've actually made Punk look quite serious. Because all of the, like, comedy segments that The Rock would do, he's called Paul Heyman Twinkie Tits. He didn't call <laughs> CM Punk Twinkie Tits. So I, I like the fact that they, they've made, they, they, they kept it serious to do with Punk. And, it, and they've had almost like the comic relief as the fat, balding walrus that is Paul Heyman. Well, it's like if you watched uh, SmackDown on <clears throat> Friday, two nights ago, like... That promo that The Rock did with, in Ring with Punk, that was, like, one of the most serious promos I've ever seen The Rock give. Like, he didn't do yeah. really any jokes or anything like that. It was very much just, look, I don't like you, you don't like me, but you have something that I want. And at the end of the day, that's what I'm gunning after. Who'd have thought that well, the classic, classic fucking story arcs would work? Who'd have thought, eh? What I can't get over is the size of The Rock compared to Punk when they're next to each other. This is true, yes. The Rock is than he used to be. But... The Rock is enormous. I mean... The Rock used to be like this pudgy, thin fucking dude, and now it's like, I'm The Rock. I'm gonna kill everyone! It's just like... <laughs> is, he looks like the Hulk, if Samoan. He dressed like... He dressed up as the Hulk for Halloween. He exactly. Because think... he, he's fucking and he's huge! What the fuck? I think that's happened? why he gets blown up now so quickly in the match. It's not that he's like not ready to wrestle. It's that he's so huge. He's hulking around all this extra weight that's probably not there in normal ways. I mean, I'm sure he's done something to get that big. He's, he's probably not on the wellness policy. But you know, in all honesty, like if you let's just let's just imagine that this is a real fight, okay? Let's just imagine that this is UFC. Dwayne Johnson versus Phil Brooks 
real match. Dwayne Johnson would beat the shit out of him. Just look at the size though, of the guys. No, look, I'm sorry. You look Punk at CM Punk. Yeah, but CM Punk, in all honesty, kind of looks like he could be broken by The Rock. Like, literally, just fucking snapped like a twig. And I know wrestling is all scripted and they'll they they'll make it even matched or whatever. But in reality, you just look at it and if it was a real match, I'd put my money on Dwayne Johnson. I'm not sure if you agree with me or if you disagree, but no, that's just what I... Just from pure observation. This feud has to... I mean, there's no other way of getting around it. This feud started with Punk turning heel, hitting the go to sleep on the rock. I still do not that's say that was a heel turn. turn. turn I do heel. not say that was a heel turn. Because, like I said... In an episode we did six... It, okay, it was the beginning of it. But it's like I said in an episode six months ago. The the Rock basically said, look, you've got something. I'm taking it away from you. You're not going to be like, oh, we're best friends. You're not. Well, the thing, yeah, but, <laughs> You're yeah, not, but, though. He's going to take something that you, that belongs no, to you. No, right. He's turned on the people. The people's champion is going to beat him. Cleanly, one, two, three. And then... Do, do... <laughs> I hope Ziggler wins the Rumble and I hope he cashes in the money in the bank and he gets both titles and he unifies them and we get rid of the brand the brand split and yeah. Well actually just sorry just going off uh, off in a little bit really quickly we will go back to the Rumble in a second but interestingly what Keelan said about the whole <laughs> brand split WWE is actually thinking of getting rid of the brand split completely like Although Raw and SmackDown, uh, the live TV shows, are pretty much, but uh, you know, co-branded now, the the house shows are still brand splitted, and they're gonna get rid of that soon. They've actually sent out, um, I think it's a poll or something, to fans saying, "What would you like the shows to be renamed?" And so it seems it's, it appears that in the coming months, that house shows will also be both branded, which basically means the 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 branding is gone, and it's it's about time. I've always said that. But in, like... in the chat, sorry to interrupt, but in the chat, um, Stephanie's done an interview saying that they basically have killed it off, kind of. Yeah. Um, on the screen, but it's like, if you're gonna kill something off like the brand split, please do it properly. Get rid of it entirely. It's not difficult. It doesn't make sense. It's like I don't understand how you can have a company that has two world championships. Yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't make sense. That, especially as the world heavyweight champ is not even like a proper world title. It's like the European title. It's not really a belt. <laughs> it's kind of there. No, I agree. I completely agree. Dumb, 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 dumb. Get rid of it. But um, we might as well move on to the actual Royal Rumble match itself because I think we all know that. Well, hang on. Before we move, well. This is the thing. Just I wanted to talk about this quickly. Yes, I think The Rock is going to win, but I do not yeah. think that's the best thing to go be, to be doing. In all honesty. Well, you know what they're like, and I know, but let's look. The man's not going to have a match. He puts someone over at WrestleMania. He's going to put Cena over at WrestleMania. We all know. Fucking over. We know he's going to put Cena over. They're going to fucking. I got, hey, whoa, whoa, I am not bucking this shit. I am telling you what is obviously going to happen. They are going to have Rock oh, versus Cena 2 because they fucking jizzed in their pants over the first one and they're like, we're going to do it again. So we're going to do it again. What? But this time for the bell. One, 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 one. Once. Not to mention it was marketed as once in a lifetime. Now they're going to do it again. So it's twice in a lifetime, which doesn't make it as special. But I'm. I'm we're gonna do seventy-two times in a lifetime. <laughs> Fucking hell! Look, I'm. I'm going off. Do oh. I think the Rock's gonna win? Yes. Do I think it's the right move? No. Why do I think it's not the right move? The man never has a match on television. Yeah. So what? I'm sorry, He's but gonna... the man is not on that show every single week. He is not CM Punk. He is yeah, not Kofi Kingston. He is not Kane. Mind. He is not Daniel Bryan. He is not on every show every week. How can you have that? That shows the belt. The ugly belt that's clearly broken. They want him to turn off Conan O'Brien and then all this other shit. 
And they'd be like, hello, I'm The Rock. Remember me? I'm the new WWE champion. Look at our ugly bell. That's what's going to happen. I don't give a shit. It's not the right move for the company, I don't think. Because you're just well, going to make... The, the fact that that belt is not going to show up in WWE for weeks on end is the worst fucking idea. I still, just so yeah, Rock can take it to his new I fucking mean, movie set and go, Oh, look! Here's me acting with the belt! Oh, like, who gives a shit? It's a fucking wrestling belt. It's not a fucking Oscar. Fucking defend it! Yeah, but the world title will probably get more of a limelight, which is probably what it needs right now. I, I... It's nothing that good booking can't do. Nothing that good booking can't do. For fuck's sake, if you book that championship like a fucking championship, you can dig yourself out of the hole you fucking put yourself in. You don't need to give it to yeah, The Rock, who can then w go w onto a Michael Bay film and pose with the director going, look at the belt. No one gives a shit, Rock. I'm sorry. They should have done what I told them to do. Have Rock lose out of the Rumble because of the Shield. But they can't fucking do that now because they fucking put that stupid stipulation in. So they can't fucking do that. So, unless, yes, The Rock's going to win. Because there was an NXT um, Royal Rumble at, like, their fucking fan access event, which actually, Bo Dallas won this tournament, and it was an NXT Royal Rumble thing. Uh, the tournament came down to uh, Bo Dallas versus Le Leo Kruger. Who, Leo Kruger is awful. It's an awful character. Yep. It's uh, like the crappiest in NXT. Uh, Kruger defeated uh, Adrian Neville, which I believe is Pac. Uh, yes. Dallas and Connor O'Brien. Uh, the finals saw Dallas defeat uh, Kruger. Uh, for those who don't watch NXT, Dallas is an incredibly crisp worker who plays uh, a good face. Of course, he is the brother of Bray Watt, uh, Husky Harris. Wow, what? That One's fat, one's not fat. Okay. The son of Mike Rotunda, IRS, as we all know him. And the nephew of Barry and Kendall uh, Wind Windham. Windham. <laughs> Speak, damn it. So, um... I can imagine a bunch of NXT guys interrupting this. Oh, it's not no, the no. Look, I'm sorry. You've had, you've had the, the NXT invasion nearly I know, two and a half years ago. I stupid and they're gonna do it again. Oh, for the Shield is basically an NXT invasion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is this going to have more people join the fucking Shield? I can see that happening. And it'd just be like, well, we weren't part of the Shield at the time, but hello, we are now. Justice! That will Fuck totally this. kill. Fuck oh this. my god, that's going to be there. so bad. Just... <laughs> oh my god. It, it's bad when you, when you know that they're just going to, you know, fucking rip themselves off from a storyline that they only did a couple of years ago. I, I can imagine that. I can I can truly imagine that happening. Stop imagining it. It's not <laughs> happening. But just, Maybe just it hasn't happened. going back to the, the match, I always said that Punk should beat The Rock in a dirty way or something, and then that leads to the match at WrestleMania where it's a triple threat match with Punk, Rock, and Cena. That would make so much more sense in my opinion. But no, they have to shit on my idea, which I personally, I'm, I'm going to be a little biased here. I thought that was a fucking good idea. Apparently not. They have their own way of doing it, and they have their own retarded way of doing it. So I... we know The Rock's going to win. We know Cena's going to win the Rumble. And there you go. Once in a lifetime. I mean, if, if you look not at the really. Rumble, there's, there's no one. There's absolutely no, other than perhaps Ziggler, but he's already got the money in the bank and all that. There's no one in the Rumble that you could say, oh, yeah, they could win. It's just Cena. Well, it's quite interesting. This is the problem! Well, this is the thing. While, while me and Andy were uh, doing our weekly pre-show uh, meetings... Oh, yeah. This is yeah, brilliant. We, we, like... we decided to have a quick look, just for a laugh, because we weren't sure if it still goes, but we had a look at um, PaddyPower.com. Now, Paddy Power, yeah. for those who aren't in oh, America... Oh, I went on that earlier. Right, don't, don't say <laughs> anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything, because it's so brilliant. It's so brilliant, right? Make like a pound. Don't, don't. Pound. Yeah. Right. Shut what up, it is, don't. What it is... You, it's a betting website essentially, and they actually do WWE, which we were quite surprised at because it's not. It's let's be honest, it's not an actual sport. It's all it's all scripted and it's an all fixed. But they actually have the thirty man Royal Rumble, and you can bet on who you think is going to win. And I've got the list in front of me <laughs> right here, right? John Cena, John Cena is um, 
He's he's in the lead to win it. He's four to six, right? So he's got a four to six chance of winning it. Make like twenty. <laughs> if, if that, Ryback is second with thirteen to five. Dolph Ziggler with nine to two. Sheamus has a twelve to one chance of winning it, and it just goes on. It's got all, it's got many of the competitors. Like, well, this is the, no, you ruined it. You ruined it. Damn it. You ruined it. Basically, it's quite obvious that Paddy Power don't watch WWE. Because they've got, in this match, this is who they've got listed in their match. They've got oh, The Rock, which makes sense. Yeah. They've got CM Punk, which makes sense. Who else have yeah. they got? They've got John Morrison listed, Chris Jericho, Scott Steiner. They've got what? Scott Steiner listed. They've got Stone Cold Steve Austin. They've got Val Venus. They've got, <laughs> who else? Who else have they got? They've got AJ. AJ's in the Rumble. AJ. Here's the best thing about it, right? So there's guys on like 150 to one, like Justin Gabriel, Jinder Mahal, and Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder. So, right? They're 150 to one to win it. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Bear in mind, he has been retired for at least five years. As a 66 <laughs> to 1 odds winning the Rumble. An inactive superstar <laughs> has more chance of winning the Royal Rumble than Justin Gabriel, who is an active wrestler. This website sucks. No, no, this is what's even better. Going back to <gasps> Scott Steiner. Just going back to Scott Steiner. This is what's beautiful, right? Scott Steiner. Oh, the God, man has not me. stepped foot in WWE in 10 years, right? <laughs> He's been quite vocal about his hatred for WWE and TNA. There's no way the man's going back to WWE. He's listed as a 50 to 1. He's got a higher chance of winning than Stone Cold. He's got a higher chance of winning than Christian, Brodus Clay, R Truth, Grey Carly. What the fuck? This man's not even in this company. What are the odds on Chris Benoit winning? Surprisingly, he's not up. Now, if Benoit was in it, that would be amazing. I can't believe for the life... I mean, fuck me, this website is terrible. And this is the only one I can find, because I've wanted to put money on Cena so I could win something. But I was going to do it, but then it came out like you would win a pound. Oh. Yeah, even the betting... Even, like, uh, bookmakers are saying that, like... Fuck me, if you bet Cena, this is so obvious, don't put money on Cena. <laughs> and it's like, why have they done this? Why? Why are you ruining it? Why? If Cena wins, if I, if at the end of the night, after I've had too many pints, and with my blurred vision, I can see John Cena pointing to a WrestleMania sign and Pyro's going off, I swear to God, I will never watch wrestling again. I will quit this show for a month. I'll, I, I, I'll be done. I won't, even, this, even if it's WrestleMania season, I won't watch it. I won't do this show. Get other people on it. I will not. I fucking, I, I'll give up with it. Why do I have a feeling you're going to start a riot in the bar? <laughs> I'm going to give up. A one-man give... riot. Come on, I'm just gonna know. I swear to God, as my witness, I won't watch it for a month. I, I can't take any more. I can't take the stupid, square-headed cunt <laughs> winning everything. I can't take it anymore. I can't. I, 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 I can't take it anymore. He, he just has to beat the odds all the time. Please, just let the him chat. Move. The chat is saying if Cena wins, Andy will suck a tampon. I, I'm not sucking a tampon, but for the love <laughs> of God, I can't. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I can't. I, I, I can't. I can't watch this shit. Three hours of him winning all the time. I, I can't take it anymore. I know I said a bad word and I said the C word. I'm sorry, but I can't take this gimp anymore. I can't do it. I what can't. I want to know is how many other people are in this bar and are actually watching it. Um. Apparently, there's going to be like 90 people to like 100 people. I have a. I, I really doubt that. If I'm gonna be I honest, but I can't take it anymore. I can't. He's got like two floors, so it's, it's all right. But I, I can't take this anymore. I can't. I can't, I can't take Cena anymore. He's just. He, he can't even talk like a normal human being for fuck's sake. That promo. I'm sorry. Yeah. That promo he did. Promo on Raw. 
was like, what the hell is he talking about? It was the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. He can't talk like a normal human being. It's like everything he says is a catchphrase. And not like one that you just add to the end. It's like, hey, I've got to say as much stuff as possible so I can put it into the fucking video packages as possible. Maybe this will be on my next like t-shirt. He is old. I'd be like, this is shit. He's shit. He can't even talk like a normal human being. He can't walk like a normal person. He can't do anything like a normal person. He can't dress like a man. He can't even dress. He dresses like a retarded child. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Fuck off. Oh, he's on, he's on, with, um, he's on steroids. Have you ever seen the film Jack, where it's like a kid but an old man? It's just oh like, that. Seen him. Yeah, that's Cena. Cena is that. He is that character. But uh, I mean, like when you you just listen to that promo, you just wonder. You you just think this man is the face of this fucking industry. He can't even go back to his old gimmick. He's so old now. Go away. I, I just. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that... can go. Someone punch him in the face or something. Right. Anyway, Please. shall we? Shall we move on? Because that's. Yes. It's just hurting me. It's just hurting me. It's melting on the inside. So um, WWE, according to IGN, uh, have uh had their li game license. Uh, or it's going to be uh, required. I can't deal with. You had one job, Andy. One job. Still, I'm still in like Cena shell shock. I don't want to even think about it. <laughs> I see what you did there with the Ryback ref. No, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be happy if Ryback wins. If Ryback wins, I I'm never leaving the show. Even if I'm dead, I'll be I sat thought, here. Wait, hang on. I thought you hated Ryback. It's better than Cena winning. Yeah, but fucking AIDS is better than Cena winning. I'd rather watch the tampon girl again. Royal Rumble. A. <laughs> it's just like like literally an A, an I, and a D, and an S pointing. <laughs> it's no, it's Jared from Subway. South Park reference. Uh, anyone? No. Okay. Just never the mind. Dirty... He's staying in the room. Right. <laughs> anyway, as we were saying, That's yes. It's Royal Rumble. Oh my god, don't no. fucking tampon girl. <laughs> tampon girl wins Royal Rumble. <laughs> fucking hell. I'll tell you one the thing. If she came in with a bloody tampon, everyone would get out. Right. Anyway. So. The, uh, the WWE video game license is going to be uh, acquired by Take Two, according to IGN. The era of THQ wrestling games is over. Sources have indicated to IGN that WWE uh, game franchise will be sold to Take Two, the parent company of 2K Games. The terms of the sale are unknown at this time, as details have not been finalised. These negotiations appear to be uh, or to have taken place outside of the THQ formal auction process. This news comes as THQ assets. Have uh, assets have been divided among several different publishers pending court approval. So basically, so basically, what we're saying is, right? Hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it because I am basically the resident gamer here. As many of you know, for the past couple of years, I've always done something video game related to uh, involving WWE. I think with 2011, I was doing uh, Liam's video game corner um, last year or the year before i was doing the wwe 12 let's play this year we got some american bloke doing it i don't know but basically <laughs> sorry carmine <laughs> but basically what it is is um so yeah thq as we said a couple of weeks ago thq's buried dead and buried it's the undertaker essentially it's gone yay fuck off coy the desma so Man. that means that thq has been selling their license uh their the license for the, the titles of Saints Row has been sold on, and the new South Park game that's coming out in the next few months has also been sold to, I believe, Ubisoft and things like that. But interestingly, WWE wasn't involved in any of the auction that THQ had. This is because THQ doesn't actually own WWE licensed games. The WWE does, which is very clever. So WWE had say over who would be doing their games. So they held an auction outside of it themselves, and we got 2K games. As we were discussing in the chat before the show went on the air, they have done many games such as Borderlands and Bioshock, as well as some not-so-good games like 24 The Game and Duke Nukem Forever, which the less said the better. <laughs> but the, the thing is, you can't really... I, I've been joking about, oh, shit, they did Duke Nukem. Oh, this is going to be awful. But the thing is, is that they every game developer does a bad game. Me, if WWE... Thanks for that, Keelan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> but, but no, that, 
what, yeah, what, what, it, what it, I mean is that like every well, every well, game well. developer, every game developer does a bad game. So it's like you know you look at THQ and they did SmackDown versus Raw 2008. You know they always have a flop at some point. So flop. yeah. So whether th- th- this is the thing. What's interesting is that they haven't said that they've sold the engine though. They've just sold the license, which is of course the the rights oh. to make the game. So. Are you still doing the game well? Well, I, this is the thing. No one really knows. It's very sort of hush-hush, keeping quiet. So we don't know what's really happening. Are we going to get a WWE 14 this year? Or are they going to just completely start from scratch? Because if they start from scratch now, we're not going to see a game this year. And it will probably be next year or the year after. In all I, think, I think if WWE has control over this, it probably means that it's just going to be the same game as it always is. Well, it's 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 interesting, but I kind of want them to take a year off. Just be like, look, we've got yeah, a new I, developer, I, let them throw new ideas as opposed to doing what Corey fucking Ledesma did, which is stealing sorry, my fucking ideas. Sorry. WWE 13 is so broken. Oh, my it God. It is the oh worst my God. wrestling game ever made. Every five seconds, it comes up on my screen saying, accessing error, even though it works fine. Then it says that my storage device is not inserted. It is inserted, you stupid pricks. And then what makes it worse is that for every other game, it works. Right. And then and then it's glitchy to hell. If you stand on the announce tables um, <laughs> and you try doing any moves, one just floats off into the crowd. I've never had that. Just... No, I've still, I've still got the fact that Road Dogs, Titan Tron, and entrance music can't be edited. No, can't can't touch it. For some reason, two of Kane's costumes are still locked, despite the fact that I've been told I've unlocked them. I've still got that problem. And any time I try and go on the fucking network, oh, the god, fucking yeah. thing. Oh mother of what? THQ. Oh, oh my god. god. THQ oh, god. going oh, into god. this game constantly like, yeah, we got the best servers ever. I can't connect. To your server! Still! I have been Suck. trying! Suck! I have Dick. been trying every day for the past two weeks to have one fucking match online, and I have yet to have one. What you the fuck? Download, you can download new arenas, new movesets, new moves, new superstars if it works. And you know what's worse? Now that THQ's gone out of business, this isn't gonna get addressed! This is it. This is the fucking game. No fucking... We can't have it changed now. Fucking hell. Fuck you, Corey. Fuck you for sending out a buggy game. Fuck off. No, you deserve to be out of the fucking job. You shit at it. Corey, listen to me. You produced the same game for... I don't know, ten years? No wonder it's fucking broken and you expected people to pay money for this pile of shit that does not work ironically wwe 12 kind of worked so what did you do for the past year you you made it worse how can you make a turd a piece of shit somehow worse how did but it you... was a, it was a revolution oh, it was a revolution of me being fucking angry and wanting to piss on his fucking grave it's just what a revolution. Oh, 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 revolution. One last time. Yeah, one last time. You're dead. You're out of business. <laughs> yes. Yes, Andy. Dickhead. Fucking, fucking revolution is to realise how <laughs> fucking shit he is at fucking making... How can you send out a game that isn't finished? Every pound I have given this pile of wank and it don't work. Fuck off. I just can't I, I'm believe glad it. you're dead. THQ... Go suck my balls. I can't believe people paid £40 for a game that's not finished. A game that's not finished. They broke it. They broke a game which was broken. You know this thing? If it's not if it's not broken, don't fix it. Well, for THQ, their slogan should have been, if it's broke, let's just break it some more. (laughs) Oh my Uh, god. uh, I bet Corey, I bet Corey was like, I've got a jug of water. What will this do to the servers? And then fucking explodes in his face. <laughs> uh, revolution! Uh, revolution! No, Corey, don't pour water on the fucking servers! 
Oh, we got a revolution! <laughs> Fuck it, you mongs! You. Uh, <laughs> so dumb. I can't believe. <laughs> what? The wrestling work better than this game. I can't believe. Like, what went through their minds to be like, Corey? Corey, look, mate. Nothing. Nothing mate, goes. No, 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 no. Listen, mind. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Like, yes. could you just imagine? Somebody just goes, look, <clears throat> Corey. I know we've worked really hard on the game, and I know the deadline's coming up, but. Uh, you know, we've we've got a deadline. We've we've got problems here. You know, in the game, you know, we can't access Road Dog's entrance and Titantron, and Kane's attires aren't showing up and things like that. Can we? What, what are we gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start a revolution! Uh, <laughs> Corey, no! Fix the game! Stop! Uh, I, I, I Who is it? This has been the worst revolution in history. This is like a revolution. It's like a takeover. You actually take over. This is just like, it's like store. It's like I can imagine like the fucking um, like the fucking the the, the uh, Russian Revolution with with Corey Ledesma in charge. <laughs> <laughs> with Alice. And you're like, uh, uh, can't open the gate. Uh. They all just get shot in the head. Oh Quit. man, I'd love to see. Like, could you imagine Corey more Ledesma on. at the head of the more American on, Revolution? More on, more on. I tried making a super arena, but every time I do, the game is like it's corrupted. <laughs> I tell you one thing, right? To all the Americans out there, to all the Americans out there, right? If Corey Ledesma led you guys in the American Revolution, you'd be still drinking fucking tea, right? Let's just put it that yeah, way. Yeah, that guy yeah. is that shit. You'd still be stamped, and he'd still be drinking our tea. So there you God go. Damn. Fuck. I, I can imagine that Corey Ledesma like dressed up. <laughs> I bet he's a John Cena fan. That's the problem. What? I bet he's a John Cena fan. No wonder, no wonder he's a complete mong. Oh, God, how long have we got on the show? Because my head is about to explode. We've still got another 25 minutes. Oh, fucking hell. But yeah, anyway. Well, um, speaking of... What were you going to say? I was going to move on slowly. I was going to talk about, I was going to go back to the Rumble, but have you got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the Rumble. Let's go back to the Rumble, of course. Well, the Rumble's in... I mean, I love the Royal Rumble, if I've got to be honest. I do love the Rumble. There's something about the Rumble match. Like, you can you can complain about, like, last year's, like, being shit. But let's be honest, right? It's probably one of the most exciting matches they have all year. I, I, I'm not sure if you guys agree with me on that, or... Yeah, 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 because, I mean, like... It is kind of unpredictable. Like, I remember one year, Rob Van Dam turned up for no reason. So, yeah. Can be good. But it's like, um... Every year, they always have these surprise entrances, and there, there's been a couple of reports as what we can get this year. And what we can get this year is apparently we've, we're getting Shelton Benjamin, we're getting Carlito, Good. we're getting Good. Chris Masters, <laughs> and he's uh, and his reaction there. And apparently, even Hurricane Helms is supposed to be uh, showing up. Oh, why? I, I can't even see any of them getting. A pop, a hurricane actually dresses as the hurricane. Perhaps Carlito would get a pop, but everyone else would be just like, oh, yeah, yeah okay. I'm hoping that that this one's okay. It Normally, like, even though the only thing that ruined last year's one was the ending, it's just like, sometimes you just have to give the fans the predictable ending. Because that's satisfying. That's good. That's what we want. But this you is the thing. You don't just you don't just like fucking pull out halfway through for no fucking reason and you go, Well, that's the end of it, bye. No. No. Not unless you wanted no. to get pregnant. Sorry. You said pull out. No. I was making a sex Anyway, look, I obviously See, I've I I've, I've, just said. I but I didn't mean that. I didn't mean to say that. Oh god. I've I've said numerous times that I study film. Because I I'm a film wanker, let's be honest. I'm a film wanker. And I think I'm pretentious and better than everyone else. But basically, I study the whole art of storytelling and all that magical stuff. And, and you're right. People want the, the ending that they want. They expect an ending. But the way you've got to do the ending is a way that they don't expect. There's an ending. Like, 
I think I've, I've used this analogy before, but let's just look at a Batman film or the Avengers. Let's take the Avengers, right? You know that the Avengers are going to beat Loki. That's what you want. That's what you know is going to happen. How they're going to do it, yeah. you don't know. And that's the journey that people like. They don't know how it's going to happen. They don't know how it's going to end. But they know it's going to end. And and they like that. If suddenly Loki was just like killed all the Avengers and the film ended, people were like, what the fuck? <laughs> it, would be unex- it would be unexpected, but people wouldn't like it because that's not what they want to see. That was yeah. If it's going to be unexpected, at least make it better than what people would have thought to begin with. Yes, basically. But it's it's the journey more than the destination that people like. They know yeah. the destination, but they don't know the journey, and that's what they like. Anyway, it, enough. In, in this case, that. they should do that for they should do that for the rock and uh, punk match. But do not, and I do not fucking do this for the rumble. Because Cena is in the fucking, uh, oh, it's the worst advert ever, right? So it's just like, everyone's in a restaurant, like, who? Who talks about wrestling in a restaurant on a date? Who the fuck does this? No one. So it's just like, oh, I think Santino's gonna win. No, I think fucking Ryback. Oh, I think oh, my God, shit's God. gonna win. And then, and then suddenly, and then suddenly, it goes to the bar, and Cena just turns around, has this shit eating grin on his face, going, <laughs> no, I'm gonna win. And it goes, Raw Rumble order. It was it's I awful. will punch things if Cena wins. It's, it's genuinely gonna... awful. It's fucking awful. And you know what? I actually, now that you've said that, I have not a horrible feeling of what's going to happen in the main event tonight. The Rock versus Cena match. I have a terrible, terrible feeling. Yeah. I think Cena might might interrupt and cost them punk the match. I have a really bad if feeling. If Cena, if they found a way to make Cena heal by interfering, but you know he'll interfere for the Rock. I guarantee what's gonna happen. Uh, this is what's gonna happen. No, no this is what's gonna happen. I'm telling you, right? This is it. This is what's gonna happen. I'm telling you, this is what's gonna happen. The Shield are going to come out, but they're not going to get in the match because it's purely stipulated. They don't. If they don't touch The Rock, then they don't cost him the match, right? The Shield's going to come out. They cost Punk the match. No, no, listen, right? It gets better. It gets better. Then Cena comes out. He fights off The Shield. Punk gets distracted by it. He turns around. Rock bottom. One, two, three. Everybody cheers. Cena walks into it, and then they have a stare down to close the match. (laughs) Bang! There. That's how it fucking ends. And that is not the way I want to see it to end. But I have a bad feeling that is how that show's going to end. I I just got a text from someone saying that wrestling sucks tampons. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm beginning to agree. Uh, I just, I, I, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing. Absolutely nothing. And by the time this is on YouTube, it's been done. Yeah. But there is nothing absolutely nothing that they can do that is going to be good because John Cena is a twat and if he wins I, I'm, I'm telling you I won't be on this show for a month I, I just won't be here it's I, I can't take it anymore Cena is the worst I, and so they want to put Cena over even though he's the most over guy in the company other than The Rock okay that makes no sense why don't you give it to Ryback? I hate the guy. I don't think he's any good. I think he's shit. But Ryback has not won a match on pay-per-view in fuck knows how long. Get Ryback to eliminate the big show at the end. And oh my god, Ryback is a monster again. Not that means we've got Ryback at WrestleMania. Not necessarily. There could be a way in between the month of tonight uh, well, that didn't fucking make sense <laughs> it could be it could be away between tonight and wrestlemania just like they've done in the past where for some reason he loses his opportunity i have a strange no, feeling about ziggler though because they, they did that whole thing where he's going to start number one and all that so he, there's some hype behind him 
But it doesn't like, make I mean, sense. He's already got a guaranteed title shot at some time, so why would they even put him in the Royal Rumble? That's what I mean. I it doesn't might... make sense. If he won the Rumble and he went on oh to win god. the title... Oh my god, this is the best idea ever. Have Ziggler win it. And then he says he's going to go for the World Heavyweight title. So then, if it is the Big Show who wins tonight, uh, it could be Ziggler Big Show, I don't know. But then, he loses first time, which would be his Royal Rumble thing, and then... He beats whoever it is with his money in the bank. Ta-da! You're using money in the bank in a way that actually makes a little bit of sense. I don't get it. What do you mean you don't he's, get it? So he uses his tonight. WrestleMania opportunity before WrestleMania. No, he uses it at WrestleMania, and then he just thinks, oh, fuck, I lost. Well, I'm going to, like, fucking do it again. And wins. He should cash in tonight and win the world title. I'm sorry, then we're we in the we're, rumble and win the WWE title. We're then missing. We're fight. not paying attention to the elephant in the room. Why did he not cash it in at TLC? Why did he not cash it in before that fucking he ladder said match? He, was. he said he was, and then he's just like, nope. But why <laughs> did he like... not cash it in before that ladder match he had? With John Cena. This is what I mean. It was so stupid. This this entire... That Money in the Bank briefcase, the fact that he has it is a massive plot hole. He should have cashed it in before that fucking ladder match. <laughs> I haven't got a briefcase anymore, so we can't have the match. Uh, I'm the bad guy. I get away oh scot-free. I just thought of two things. CM Punk's career is going to end tonight. And so will Dolph Ziggler's career end tonight. Because... Ziggler's going to get eliminated, and then um, Punk's going to lose, and everything that these two had will just die right before our very eyes. <laughs> and they've killed and the whole future. They'll have some fucking prick that fucking can't talk. Everyone hates, but we've got to cheer him. And The Rock at WrestleMania twice in a lifetime. Hooray! Oh. It's funny because they gave Ziggler the World Heavyweight Championship for like 20 minutes. And then, like, look how long it's taken for him to sort of get back to a position where people can take him seriously again. You know what and I mean? People actually wanted him to be the champion. This people is what I mean, like... though. Yeah, but they'll turn him face because WWE's retarded. Like, as soon as. As soon as, like, fucking, um, any heel gets cheered, it's just like, throw him face! Throw him face! Well, is it, interestingly, what you said is that the, going back to the whole Miz thing, because we were ranting about the Miz, but what is it, what, his baby face turn, his, you know, sort of nature boy 2.0 sort of thing is, that was actually supposed to be for Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler that was supposed to have a... Sense. Dolph Ziggler was supposed to have the baby face and then adopt the figure four leg lock as his finisher. But for some reason, they've gone with The Miz, despite the fact that he's nothing like Flair. Yeah, nothing. What is he going to be, the nature boy, The Miz? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, that hurts my... No, 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 seriously, that, that, that's just giving me a fucking headache. I'm not, I'm not lying. The nature boy, The Miz. Like... So you have the Nature Boy, Buddy Rose, <laughs> the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, woo, and the Nature Boy, The Miz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is so bad. Uh, I, oh, this, is, this, is, this is beyond, this is, this is beyond TNA level of stupid. This is so dumb. I can't take wrestling anymore. I can't take any, no, I'm done. That's it. After tonight, depending on what happens tonight, I'm either watching this again or I'm quitting. I can't take it anymore. I can't take this shit any longer. I can't take TNA. Talking about stupid shit from TNA, just you've reminded me of a piece of news. <laughs> you've rep reminded me of a piece of news. There was, a, obviously, a, we've mentioned before a fan access or fan fest thing that went on this past weekend for the Royal Rumble, and there was that TNA, not TNA, wow, can you imagine? NXT, that's what I meant. NXT event that happened where they put Bo, Bo Dallas into the Royal Rumble match, uh, oh. who's apparently now going to be a part of the main roster because of it. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. No. Fan access, or whatever it was called, they had a DX reunion panel. Oh, for God's sake, why? 
And somebody actually said to Road Dog and Billy Gunn, they said, uh, "What was all? What was that storyline about in TNA with the Voodoo Kin Mafia?" And <laughs> I do have to pull up the the quote somewhere, so just bear with me. But it's it's a good question. Like, what was that storyline all about? I don't, I don't get it. Why? What was the point of it? I just looked in the. Middle do you remember when they had a fake like... Triple H on pay per view? <laughs> Oh, oh my god, and a fake Vince. You know what, just... And then they had a Abyss oh, show up with a fucking balloon. <laughs> anyway, what Road Dog said uh, to to the Voodoo Kin Mafia storyline, Road Dog said, and I quote, Russo was writing and we got paid weekly. Bad time in my life, bro. That just sums <laughs> it up. That just sums it up so well. That sums up TNA. That sums up wrestling. <laughs> I just looked. I literally. It's all right though, because Taz is in the aces and eights. Oh my god! What the hell is going? Right, right. I've just looked in the mirror, and before. Fuck it up. That must have been painful. No, no, it was. I just looked, and my face looked exactly like Festus's face. (laughs) (laughs) My mind has gone numb from this shit. This unentertaining, total crap that I've put up with for eleven years. It's our it's, fault for watching. We're giving it's, them it's the rating. Never, it's never got better. And when there are moments where you think it might just get better, they fuck it up. And now, wrestling has got so bad, we have this. The thing is, you, just go... Keelan, I think you said that Taz is now in the Aces and Eights. I've got one better. Garrett That's Bischoff. What? Garrett Bischoff is in the Aces and Eights. This... Well, it's clear that Wes Briscoe's in the aces and aces. You can see his face with a bloody mask. I just can't. Who what is heads? this group? What is this what fucking is this? group? What is? What are you trying to do? Revive the NWO with fucking Devon? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! I wish I had a guitar right. Yeah, I'll be like. It's Devon fucking Dudley. The shitter of the two Dudleys. You now have Mark, Bully Ray, Friendly Ray, Super Happy Ray, now married to uh, Brooke Hogan, who looks so much like Hulk. All she needs to do is just throw a mustache. <laughs> and I don't my care. Up, my care. You've got a guy who's had such a bad history with drugs that he can't even enter this country. But guess what? He's the world heavyweight champion. So he's missed a month of TV. And he can't... And they advertise him right up until the yeah. weekend that it happens. Is what that is wrong with people? people? Why is it the most important people in wrestling are the most fucking stupid idiots on earth? I swear to Christ, if you gave me four million pounds, I could kill TNA off in about half of... No, no, this is better, right? This is better. Think of TNA logic for a second. Oh. They know that Aces and Eights are after Hulk Hogan. So what do they do? Oh, let's have a wedding in the middle of the ring! Just fuck this company! I mean, what the, the best fuck? Best is, the best thing is, Taz is just like, Mark, Mark, his name is Bully Ray. Mark, are you sure you want to do this, bro? Duh, I'm Taz, Supla, hello. <laughs> Oh, is it me or is it harder? I am in Aces and Eights. La 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 la. Fuck off. I'm sick of this. Do they think their fans are so stupid? Because they fucking are. They, they they're fucking they're watching this shit. They they're sad they're, they're going, this, this, awesome. This, 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 he just this, walked this, to the ring. Uh, uh, he just uh, walked uh, to the uh, ring. Uh, oh, my God. He's injured, but then they do the injury angle with a hammer. Just say you got injured in training or something. Don't have a fake <laughs> angle with a hammer. With a hammer, you would die. If you got hit in the leg with a hammer, you would have a crippled leg for life. Why the fuck are these idiots still here? Why? Why? Why are they here? And then Taz on Impact sits on commentary. Why? Damn, Why we're doing it him. Now? Damn, we're doing it him. No, it wasn't. He fucking botched. Why? Why is Bully Ray, who is suspended on television, <laughs> it doesn't make sense? And then, and then the best, the best thing is the the fucking 
best thing about this whole thing is, is everyone is feuding with a 60-year-old cripple. Why? Why are they feuding with Hulk Hogan? He's a cripple. He's a dumb, stupid cripple. Do you know what's going to happen in 20 years? TNA's still going to be around, and everyone's going to be feuding with a crippled John Cena. Oh, my God. Why are they feuding with fucking Hulk Hogan? Cold wind can fucking stop what that man from walking. <laughs> you don't have to try hard to beat Hogan. <sighs> fucking, I mean, yeah, this... he wants to come back. He wants to come back. He's been doing an interview saying he's, he's going to have some surgery and he's going to come back again. I don't give a fuck. Right. Oh, and Brooke Hogan wants to wrestle too. Right, and this is really it. Good in front of the you know what? Apparently. You know what? This whole 2012 apocalypse thing, it wasn't for the world. It was for the industry of pro fucking wrestling. It started last month and it's fucking continuing. It's going to die. It is going to die. Sorry. If fucking Hulk Hogan wins the TNA world title, this is this industry's dead. This fucking no. industry is gone. I, I, can't, I, don't, I don't want to be a wrestling fan to see this. I would happily be oblivious for the rest of my life. Just drink myself into a fucking coma and just never knew that this shit happened. But I can't escape it because it's like being on crack. I can't stop watching this shit and I'm going to fucking sit here and talk about bollocks every week. I'm done. Cena wins Rumble. I'm done. I can't. I can't take it anymore. This is so bad. It is beyond awful. This, I would prefer Triple H. I would prefer any person on Earth. Okay, I Bane. Can't... Thanks for that. <laughs> What? You sound exactly like Bane. So, what's the plan? We're going to cross the rumble. And there's a moment. It is just the pain. Why does TNA exist? I blame Kane. Oh fuck it. Just. I I, I don't care. I'd rather sit here and do Bane impressions than talk about wrestling. Anyway, I guess that means that we're in the last five minutes of the show. I should probably move on to the competition we started last week. Yay! Pro stuff. Because we're happy now. I can't. I can't. I still don't know why you're giving these tickets away. We could have gone. Because it has the guys from fucking TNA boot camp. You've just heard us ranting about TNA. Why would I support anyone going to that company? Why? I wouldn't. Because it's fucking shit. You have to be a fucking moron to think, Oh, I've got a chance with TNA. Yeah. Like, if I was given a fucking contract for TNA... If I was given a contract for TNA, I would use it and just say, Oh, great, I needed some toilet paper and wipe my ass with it with them watching. I actually have run out of toilet paper in my house. I would love these tickets to wipe my ass with. Exactly. Right. Anyway, the competition we said last week, you've got a chance to win some tickets to Revolution Pro Wrestling with the guys from TNA Boot Camp. <laughs> yeah, pretty much my, my reaction. And uh, basically, I, I asked everyone a question. Who is the real co-host of the year? And it did actually have a right answer. Those who answered... What is the answer? The answer is, of course, Liam. Anyone who answered Andy, you just fucked yourself over because you were a fucking mong. You had a chance to win free tickets and you, bit a, you, you were a dick. Because, you know, you're all dicks. So, oh, basically... God. What the hell are you saying? I have decided that uh, the winner of the Revolution Pro Wrestling tickets is the username on YouTube... Master Liam. Well done, Master Liam. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, guys. I've got a bad feeling that's you. <laughs> well, you know, but it is Master Liam on YouTube. So, Master Liam, if you are Master listening, if you are listening, uh, just you... we'll, we'll drop you a message. Stick to yourself. We'll drop, yeah, pretty much. Uh, we'll drop you a message soon asking for your um, for your address, for your bank account, uh, bank account details, and all that good stuff. And the tickets will eventually be yours. And your, your mother's maiden today. Yeah, pretty much. We'll, we'll need your pin code as well. Anyway, that's pretty much the show, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got three minutes to kill. <laughs> um, This might be my last episode. <laughs> uh, wait, are you actually genuinely serious that you will you will go? If I you... don't know. I don't know. We, I, I... It, it, wait, we need a, some kind of forfeit. If there's some kind of swerve to it, can we not and have Cena anyone singing? Win. Can we not have anyone singing? Andy has to do something next week. I won't be on next week if Cena wins. There, there's a compromise. Right, there we go. If Cena if wins the Royal Rumble, there's not a show next week. Get... I, I honestly need a break from this <laughs> Funny Cunny said flip a lighter. <laughs> oh, 
I hate this show sometimes. There's <laughs> moments like that where I... Why am I here? <laughs> but, okay, there we go. Uh, if Cena wins... If Cena wins, we're not having a show next week. Yeah. Oh, Carmine said he'll fill in for a week or a month. So, okay. Compromise. Andy can go. Carmine will come in. <laughs> so, Carmine will be the only person on planet Earth rooting for John Cena. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just hate... I, I can't... I need a break from this crap. I've, no, I've This is so bad. I cannot tell you a time when... Ring of Honor is awful. The quality is piss poor. Uh, TNA is TNA. WWE is mind-numbingly stupid. There's nothing. There's nothing left. So I'm taking a week off. That's if Cena lose. Uh, if Cena wins, you'll take a week off. If anyone else wins, then I'm gonna start a parade. What time does it start? I don't know whether to watch this live or not. It's uh, one o'clock over here. 1am over here. Which I believe is 7 o'clock Eastern Time in America. And the worst Do I want is to stay up till like, like 4? We have lectures tomorrow and seminars. I'm not going to be awake for any Oh, days. oh, let's all care about Andy's personal life. John Cena costs Andy his <laughs> uni degree. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta rise above degrees. No, no, no. If Seamus wins, you know what? I'll be happy this year if Seamus wins. Please, someone else win it. Anyway, please, we better please, start wrapping please. this up. So yeah, uh, I might not be here next week, but I've been Andy Quad. I am your 2012 co-host of the of the. I was going to say of the year, oh, but that's 2012 Sorry. co-host of the year, Liam Dunn. And I've been Keelan Balderson. Keep it locked on WrestlingTruth.com. And we'll see you. Well, I'll see you next week anyway. Bye.